세계적인 찬양이었습니다. That was a world class choir. 우리 자모님들이 기도로 많이 하시는가 봐요. Perhaps our elders here are praying a lot. 예, 솔직히 좀 와보면 기분이 이상했거든요. Honestly, when I came to Ulsan, I felt a bit strange. The microphone, the sound system wasn't so great, and I couldn't avoid coming because the elders were always inviting me. 시간이 갈수록 울산이 이렇게 보고만 수 있는 분위기를 자꾸 이렇게 만들어져 가는 걸 봅니다. But I can see that as time passes, the Ulsan Church becomes more and more centered on the gospel, creating an atmosphere for world evangelization. It is God's plan to save the city of Ursan. And it's very important who is within that plan of God. With that said, let's look at the title of today's message. You all know this very well. God says, Son of man, can these bones live? There was nothing but bones left. People had already died. So can these bones live? 자, 우리가 이 부분에 조심해야 될 부분이 있습니다. There is something here that we need to be careful of. 자, 이게 뭐 우리 이제 망했다. 막 이런 얘기죠. At times we say, oh, it's finished, we're finished. Things are done for us. But there's something you need to know first. In Romans 3.10, it says there is no one righteous, not even one. The bones themselves are not the issue. No one is righteous. There, it means that there is no one who sees God. After what happened in Genesis chapter 3, everyone is destroyed. And then in Romans 3, 23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. When it says sin, what kind of sin is this talking about? Under non-believers cannot interpret this. And it's very difficult to explain this. When it says for all have sinned, it's not talking about just the evil acts that you have committed. It means all people have separated from God. They cannot believe in God. They are spiritual beings, and yet they cannot believe in God, so they fall short of God's glory. Isn't that right? It means they have committed the original sin. So when we talk about uh, this sin, it's not about things that you have done well or not have done well. And that is why, regardless of whether you are here in Korea or in America, everyone has spiritual problems. What you need to remember is that the spiritual problem is the same for everyone. It might appear differently for the American or for the Korean, but it is the same for everyone. It is because we are separated from God. And the spiritual problems only worsen as time passes. I just returned from Hawaii. And our pastor Kim Sehi from this church was commissioned to a church in Hawaii. And I haven't spoken much about it before, but the members from that church, all the all that are left are the real core members. For many years they have been, the members of the church have been without a, a senior pastor and they're holding on to the word. I can see that it is a church that gathered true, the true disciples and we cannot even see that often in Korea. And so, uh, deliberately, I did not speak about it so that the leaders can be led by the Holy Spirit. 
One elder came to me, and because we were all so busy, he only spoke one thing to me. 유 목사님을 당 회장님으로 생각하고 그렇게 알고 있겠다고 이렇게 얘기하더라고요. And the elder said, Pastor, we will consider you to be the leader of our session board. That's actually very meaningful. What he meant was, whatever you say, we will follow you. But until the end of my trip, I did not say anything to them. In other words, I want them to do things on their own. But one thing you should remember is that that church faced so many hardships because of so many different pastors. It was to the point where I was feeling sorry. And as they were in prayer for a long time, I believe they were guided by God. And as I led the conference in Hawaii, all those members came and received grace through the message. 그래서 우리 김세희 목사님이 가게 되면은 정말 목사는 교회와 성도를 위해 해야 돼요. Pastor Kim, when you go to Hawaii, you must be for the church and for the church members. Then everything will follow. Everything will take place. 하나님을 위하여 하지만은 실제로 성도를 위해서 교회를 위해서 헌신하면. Yes, you're devoting yourselves for God, but if you're doing it for the church and for the church members, God will take care of all your needs. Let's take a good look at the passage today. What is the question? God is asking Ezekiel a question, saying, Son of Man. This is a question by God to Ezekiel. 완전히 멸망받았다고 생각하는데 하나님이 에스겔이 하는 질문입니다. Everyone thought that the people were in complete destruction, but God is asking Ezekiel. 이 뼈들이 정말 살겠느냐 이렇게 물어봐. Can these bones live? 여기 굉장한 메시지가 들어 있어. There is a tremendous message within that question. 제가 가가지고 수장님 보고 수장님 이게 이게 살겠습니까 이렇게 물으면. For example, if I asked Elder Sa in front of me, "Can these bones live?" It would be very difficult for him to answer me. But it was God asking. 그래서 여러분이 이 본문의 배경을 잘 보시면요, 그 멸망이 실제 말하는 멸망이 아니라는 겁니다. If you look at the background of this passage, you will know that this destruction was not a realistic destruction. 오늘 배경에 있는 이 부분들은 이 지금 전 세계 사람을 말하는 게 아니잖아요. And the bones that we see in today's passage is not talking about the whole world. It's talking about Israel. It's talking about us. Everyone is dying now. So can they really live? This is the question. God was working by the Holy Spirit and asking Ezekiel this. Many people are very confused. The politicians from all kinds of sides, they have a common characteristic, actually. Do you know what they are saying? They say, our nation is going to be destroyed. We see that the ruling party is saying that, that the communists are going to rise up and take over. And the other party is saying, "Oh, the leftists are going to take control." Or the rights. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who don't have spiritual eyes. But these are the people who if that happened in underdeveloped nations, it would not even be considered wrong. That's how much our nation has developed. Has North Korea really faced destruction? God does not see it that way. Within North Korea, there are very good believers. God is looking and waiting for the time to come. So today, you will see the three things in the passage of Ezekiel. In today's passage, as we see the dry bones, we must see three things. First of all, it says here, 
그러고 오늘 두 번째로 뭐라고 되어 있는 거니까요. God led me by His 그 Spirit. 뼈들에게, number one. 죽어버리는데 뼈들에게 말씀을 전해라. And then the second point, God told Ezekiel to prophesy to the dry bones. And then the, that, the last thing. 생기를 불어넣으라. Then it says, 하나님의 말씀입니다. 여러분이 아무리 절망 가운데 있다 할지라도 이 속에 들어가면은 영안이 열리는 겁니다. 그래서 말씀을 전해라. 생기를 불어 넣어라. 이렇게 말씀하셨어요. 이것은 굉장한 메시지고 실제 말씀이 성취됐어요. 자 여기서 볼때 굉장한 중요한 답이 나옵니다. 이스라엘 백성이 마른 뼈다귀처럼 완전히 죽은 것처럼 보이지만 은 하나님께서 주시려고 하는 축복이 있습니다. 오직의 비밀을 찾아내라. It does look like Israel was completely destroyed, like a pile of dry bones, but God had a mystery that He wanted them to know, and that's the mystery of only. 말씀을 전해라가 뭡니까? What does it mean when God said to prophesy to them? 하나님이 여러분에게만 주시려고 하는 유일성의 축복을 찾아내라. God wants you to discover your blessing of uniqueness that He's given to only you. So the first point is God guided me by His Holy Spirit. That means that's a blessing only given to believers. Know the blessing of only. Then God said, "Then God said, 죽은 것처럼 보이지만은 새로 살려내는 축복을 해보게라." I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. That is the blessing of recreation. 그 말씀입니다. 이 영안이 어두운 사람들은 참 부정지 죽는 말만 해요. People who do not have spiritual eyes, they only see negative things that destroy people. 하나님 없는 사람. It may be correct, but these are from people who don't know God. 하나님은 마른 것처럼 흩어지고 다 죽어 버렸는데도 살릴 수 있어요. However, God can bring to life these people who seem like dry bones. 이걸 여러분들이 붙잡으셔야 됩니다. This is what you need to hold on to. 예, 저는 여섯 군데 교회에서 부교역을 했어요. I served as an assistant pastor in six different churches for a very long time. 그런데 일곱 번째 인제 개척인 같은 정도예요. And the seventh church that I served was the church that I planted in Yongbyo. 가는 데마다 공통적으로 하는 말이 있어요. But everywhere I went, everyone said the same thing. 우리 교회는 안 된대요. They said, "Oh, it's not working for our church." That's what everyone said. 우리 교회는 안 된대요. The same. It's not working for our church. 그래서 내가 가는 데마다 증거를 보여줬어요. So everywhere I went, I showed the evidence. 하나님은 된다는 증거를. The evidence that it can work with God. 여러분 지금 부산도 그렇고 서울도 그렇고 지금 울산도 그렇고 지금 굉장히 중요한 사명들을 받은 교회인데 사람의 말을 들으면 그게 맞는 말처럼 보입니다. We have very important committed workers here in Ulsan and Seoul and Busan. If you listen to the words of man, they all seem correct. 왜냐하면은 하나님의 말씀은 어떻게 보면요 우리하고 안 맞아요. Well, at sometimes the word of God does not seem 그렇잖아요. to match our lives, right? 강약길을 가는 이스라엘 민족 보고 성막 만들어라. God told the Israelites who were traveling through the wilderness to build a tabernacle. Does that make sense? 그런데 지나고 보니까 그게 답이에요. But after time passed, they realized that was the answer. 저 포로돼 있는 이스라엘 민족 보고 나오지도 않는데 성전 재건해라 가서. To the Israelites who were captives in Babylon, they were not even set free from that place. 근데 그게 말이 됐어요. Go and rebuild the temple. 아무것도 없는 거지 같은 말이죠. Did it make sense? But it really happened. 포로돼 그 사람들 거지 안 가지였어요. The early church members, the disciples seemed like beggars. They really were like beggars. But God tells them to do world evangelization. They did not even have transportation fees, and God said, go to the ends of the earth. In Mark's upper room, there were two types of people. Those who were completely committed workers, or those who were just a mess themselves. They had no place else to go. But it was the Holy Spirit that worked there, and truly, world evangelization happened. It happened that way. That's the common characteristic. They said we cannot enter Canaan. We met the wrong leaders. They said God is not with us. Those words sound so true, and everyone believed them. 오늘 여러분. Today, may you grab hold of this important covenant. 근능으로 임하시고. It says here that God's power was upon me. 
권능으로 임하시고 여러분을 주의 영으로 이끌어 가셔서 And it says that by the Spirit, He brought me out. 세상 돌아가는 걸 몰라요. 아이고 뭐 멸망 받는가 보다. 내게 어리마서 난 이제 죽는가 보다. 이런 식으로 해석을 합니다. People don't know this, and that's why they interpret different things as the the path to destruction. 심지어 어떤 사람 막 자살하고요. And that's why some people even kill themselves because they think their lives are over. 내가 만드는 세상 방식대로 다 하다가 안 되니까 나 나는 이제 안 되는가 보다. They've lived their entire lives operating by their own standards. And then at the end of their lives, they said, "I'm going to die." But at this place, uh, where death was imminent, it says that the Holy Spirit came to me. It says here in verse one, "The hand of the Lord was upon me, and He brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord." And then He asked him, showing him the valley of darkness. Ezekiel, can these bones live? 여기서 에스겔이 대답을 잘했습니다. 정말 제대로 했습니다. And I believe Ezekiel answered correctly. 예, 이 뼈들은 우리가 살릴 수 있습니다. Oh yes, God, we can bring them to life. 이렇게 말하면 그 황당한 인물이고. If he actually said that, then he would be someone quite absurd. 아니, 우리는 이 뼈들을 이제 살릴 수 없습니다. No, God, these bones can never come back to life. 맞는 말인데. Those words might be true, but they are full of disbelief. 우리는 보통 신앙생활 그래 합니다. That's how we usually live our Christian life. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not happening in our church. God is not here. In our perspective, it's not going to work. But then other people would say, "No, it's going to happen for our church." But how? See Ezekiel's answer. Oh, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. That's right. Oh, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. 여러분이 이 오직의 축복을 은약을 붙잡으면요, 여러분에게 뭐부터 오느냐? 오직의 응답이 와요. If you really understand the covenant of only, what will come to you first? The answer of only. 이렇게 중요한 말씀이 나옵니다. Here we see another very important. 뭐라고 말씀하는 거니까요? 삼절에 이런 말씀이 있어요. In verse three, you'll see. 그가 내게 이르시되 인자야 뼈들이 능히 살겠느냐 하시기로 내가 대답하되 주 여호와의 주께서 아시나이다 그랬잖아요. We read verse three. He asked me, "Son of man, can these bones live?" I said, "O sovereign Lord, you alone know." 하나님께서 가장 먼저 에스겔에게 말씀한 겁니다. So very first, God speaks to him. He gives his word. 뼈들이 능히 살겠느냐니까 주께서 아시나이다. He says, "Can these bones live?" And then Ezekiel answered, "You alone know." 그런데 중요한 말씀이 나와요. And then something important is spoken in verse four. 그 삼절이고 사절에 뭐라고 했습니까? So what happens in verse four? 여호와의 말씀을 대언해라. He said to him, "Prophesy to these bones." This is the key. 우리는 우리의 말을 하는 것이 아니고 하나님의 말씀을 대언해라. Most of the times we speak what is our own words, but God says, "Prophesy God's words." Since the word of God was given to them, what happened to the bones? So look again and see what is so important here. 사절에 보면 또 내게 이르시되 너는 이 모든 뼈에게 대언하여 이르기를 너희 마른 뼈들아 여호와의 말씀을 뭐하들 들을지어다. There's, then verse four says, "Then he said to me, 'Prophesy to these bones and say to them, 'Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord.'" 여러분이 받은 유일성의 축복을 회복해야 되는 거예요. You need to restore the blessing of your life. 여러분에게는 어떤 말씀 있냐? 하나님의 말씀 임하면 삽니다. What is the word that He wants you to give? 그렇죠. That He wants you to receive. When the word of God comes upon you, you will receive. 하나님의 말씀이 임하면 사는데 이 말씀을 죽은 자에게 대언해라. So take this word of the Lord and prophesy to these people who are dying. 내게 이만 하나님의 말씀을 대언해라. And prophesy the word that has been given to you. 여기 지어다란 말은 뭡니까? And what is the word? 권세입니다. Here it is authority. 이 권세는 사람이 준 권세가 아니고 하나님이 위에서 내린 권세다 그 말이에요. Authority is the power that is given from above. 그래서 축도 할 때. 성부, 성자, 성령 이름으로 뭐 여러분에게 무슨 지어다라고 말해요. And when the benediction is given at the end of the worship, it says, "And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be given to you or be upon you all." 
And it's not from my own authority as a pastor. 그 But with the authority that has been invested on me by God from above, I am blessing the people. And what Ezekiel heard from God, he is not giving me a When you prophesy, when you deliver the word of God that God gives you, the same works will happen. Now, thirdly, something very important. Look at verse 5. 주 여호와께서 이 뼈들에게 이같이 말씀하시기를 내가 생기를 너에게 들어가게 하겠다. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. Here we have something different. 여호와께서 뼈들에게 직접 약속하신 게 있어요. God is now promising the dry bones of the dead. 그 약속이 뭡니까? What was that? 생기를 불어넣겠다. It says, I will make breath enter you. 그러니까 여기에 에스겔이 하는 말이 내 말을 대언하는데 그들에게 생기를 불어넣어라. And then to Ezekiel it says, I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. 이 구절에 보면요, 이런 말씀이 나오잖아요. Then if you look down in verse 9. 또 내게 이르시되 인자야 너는 생기를 향하여 뭐해라? 대언해라. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man. And say to it. 이르기를 주 여호와께서 이같이 말씀하시기를 생기야 사방에서부터 와서 이 죽음 당한 자에게 불어서 살게 하라 하셨다 하라. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain that they may live. 그런데 시들이 보니까요, 이 마른 뼈들이 살아서 뭐가 됐다고요? 군대가 됐다는 사실. And then in verse 10, Ezekiel prophesied, and what happened to all those dry bones? They stood up and became a vast army. 학업을 시작하고요. I pray that you will hold on to this covenant today and then begin your study. 여러분이 이 언약을 붙잡고 사업을 시작하고. Hold on to this covenant and begin your businesses. 이 언약을 붙잡고 교회를 시작해라. With this covenant, start your church. 아마 여러분이 건축을 놓고 기도하는 모양입니다. Right now you're praying for your church construction. 에, 해야 되겠죠. I'm sure you have to do that. 에, 부산에는 에, 양심을 따라서요. 237개 나라가 올수 있도록 기도하세요. For people in Busan, pray that we can build a church where 237 different nations will come. 237개 나라 다민족이 들어가서 훈련 받을 수 있는 교회가 없습니다. There are no churches that can really train the disciples of 237 nations of the world. 이 전도 훈련은 처음부터 제가 붙잡은 언약입니다. This evangelism training is a covenant that I held on to from the very beginning. It's God's answer that He gave me. 전도 훈련을 시킨다. For evangelism training. 왜 237개냐? And why is it 237 nations? 현재 어제 아래 미국 갔는데 미국에 있는 목사님 가운데 절반 이상 신학 공부 안 했어요. I was just back. For, I just came back from America. But even in America, more than half of the pastors here have been leading a church. But they have never studied theology. You need to receive answers only when you communicate with God, right? And also in other further countries, um, in other nations, pastors have actually never studied theology. They've never learned that Jesus is the Christ. And also in Vanuatu, which they boast is over in nine, around 90% Christian, I led a conference there and they all said they never heard Jesus is the Christ. And they promised that the conference messages that were recorded on the broadcast would continue to broadcast on their television every week. There were Korean missionaries and leaders that went to the Vanuatu leaders and said, Oh, do you know about Pastor Rugangsu? If you let him come, you're going to be in trouble. And then the pastor, the pastor responded back to the Korean man and said, You better know you'll be in trouble if you continue to say that. So the message is that you're going to be in trouble. 237 nations, most of them have never heard of the gospel. So let us build a church that can, bring tra that can train these disciples from 237 nations here in Pusan. There was a man that I know that was really guided by the Holy Spirit well. And God is going to work upon him. 
until he comes back again. We only have one life to live, and one day we're going to meet him in heaven. But there are, there are many nations that have never received the gospel before, and we need to see that movement where the gospel enters in. Why don't you pray? It's already been 20 years since our ministry has begun, but there's still not a church that we can have a conference for all the disciples of the nation to gather together. So why don't you pray for that? There are no churches where disciples can come and sleep and receive training from all over the world. Can you really remember this? This is the time where Ezekiel was having communication with God, connected to God. If you can have connection with God who is invisible, who is all spiritual and almighty, dry bones can come to life. With that kind of answer, God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? It was God's question. And he answered, Lord, you alone know. Then prophesy to them. And after you prophesy to them, I will let my breath enter into them. And those dry bones became an army. Even now, if I wanted to have a conference here in Ulsan, we'd have to go and rent another building. This is a church. 은약 잡고 나가면 하나님이 어떻게 역사하시느냐 죽은 뼈들을 이 군대로 만들어 버린다 그 말이요. This is a church that must do the evangelism movement. So if you really hold on to the covenant and pray, then God can allow a valley of dry bones to form a great army. What does it mean when God said prophesy? Isn't that important? 내가 할 말을 네가 하라 그 말이요. In other words, speak on behalf of me. 네 말을 하는 것이 아니고 내가 할 말을 여호와의 말을 네가 전해라. Don't speak what you want to speak. Speak what I want to say to the people. Say to the disciples, You cannot save them, but you give them the word. Breath, go inside of them. It's a very important word. I was able to experience the word of God, this amazing word. And we see so many answers. As soon as I entered into the city of Yeongdo, I found a place. I was looking for a place for training, a training center. But there was no place because there was the land was so small. And other thought, other thought, we need to go rent another place. And I disagreed. We wanted to have camp training. So what was God's plan? They were all trained. 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 We had to immediately start our training, even pastors. <clears throat> so we had to rent a hotel in the Taejong area. And one day there was a factory that had gone out of business. But now that has become our church. And when we wanted to buy that land and building, they ran all the errands for the So God is giving me this prayer to create a system for the 237 nations. Do you know why? Well, God said the king, the Herod's temple would be destroyed. Why? Because they got rid of all the systems to save all the nations. Immanuel Church, Seoul, and Immanuel Ulsan, Busan, are then for the Ursan, Pusan, and Seoul Emmanuel Church, let us realistically create that system to save all nations. God will do it. In other words, He will bring to life dry bones. People who are completely destroyed, those who are dead, will come back to life. It looks like Pastor Kang Sang-mo is traveling around the world, but he is doing world evangelization, and he's great. He's actually never... He's actually, there's not a place where he hasn't traveled to, and you as a session board are always supporting him. And I said this to him in Hawaii. It wasn't that Pastor Kim said he wanted to go to Hawaii. I told him to go. 
왜냐? Why? 이 우산에서 보니까요. 광고사 밑에서 이, 이 그러니까 이게 열심히 전도 운동하고 그래요. Pastor Kim say he was uh, diligently doing the evangelism movement under Pastor Kang. 지금 서서히 세계 제자들이 울산 이쪽을 향해 관심을 갖고 있다. Many of the world disciples are actually have turned their focus here to Ulsan Church. And people on the outside, they say, I'd really like to visit two places when we go to Korea for training. The Emmanuel Pusan Church and the Emmanuel Ulsan. I'm sorry to say this to the Seoul Church because I know they're listening to this message. But that's what I heard. Why? Because people say that they went to this training before and they received so much grace. Even people like um, Senior Deaconess Che, she came here when she was so discouraged and she received so much grace when she saw the works of the field here in Ulsan. So Kim Sehi, Pastor Kim, he was doing a great job here, but I did tell him to go to America because we need to save America. And I think there had been there had been some misunderstanding along the way. And this is what I said to someone. Let us say that you made you were planning to get married, and you find out that the person is actually sick. So will you cut off? Will you break off the marriage? That's not love. Let's say that oh, this person is sick. And you 그렇죠? know that they're sick, then you said, Oh, I will marry you. That's true love. And that's a uh, true human. 거예요, and I'm just oh, giving oh, an example. Okay. 돼, Don't think of it as strange. 우리가요, 여러분 아시다시피 아까 얘기했잖아요. 복음 선택 한번 하는데 100년 안 갚았어요. I told you this before that when you make your choice based on the gospel, as it will come to you 100 years. But moment by moment, we don't make choices within the gospel. So in the most important moments, choose the gospel. Then you can receive a thousand years worth of blessings. Let's say that you have to sacrifice something because of the gospel. Historic answers will come to you. You know that Stephen was aware that if he spoke the truth, he would still die. But he, but he, he had to. He pulled out from the history of Israel, all the things, all the things that the people did to block the gospel. And it said that they listened to him and gnashed their teeth. They should have repented, but they gnashed their teeth. And then they stoned Stephen to death. And what's very interesting in the Bible, it doesn't say that Stephen died, it says he fell asleep. And something more amazing. And it says that Stephen saw Jesus. He saw heaven open up and he saw Jesus standing at the throne of heaven. But that all. But it says, due to the persecution of Stephen, what happened? The Antioch church was born and later on, Saul turned around and he says, I used to be a prisoner because he was there when Stephen was killed. And then he staked his life for the rest of his life to preach the gospel. When people look at things, it looks impossible. But God can do it. And that's why we receive God's word and then we prophesy. We receive the Holy Spirit and then we prophesy. We really need to have a church that grabs hold of the covenant to arise. Don't hesitate, but just find it. 적어도 한 천명 넘어 들어가는 예배당은 돼야 그좀 훈련을 할수 있어요. You should have a, a sanctuary that can fit at least a thousand people so that we can properly train people. 전도 집회하려고 해도 장소가 없어요. Even if I wanted to come to Ulsan to do an evangelism this, the conference, there's no place 그뭐 to have 뭐 it. 체육관 같은 빌려가 그 집회 힘들어요. And if we try to rent a gymnasium to do it, it's just too difficult 힘들고, to relay the message. 부속도 훈련하기도 힘들고 그게 어떻게 하나님 뜻입니까? It's so difficult in all ways to lead a conference in those places. So how can that be the will of God? 제가 몇년 전에 정은주 목사님 보고 그런 얘기했습니다. A few years ago, I said this to Pastor Chung Eun Joo. I said, "Why don't you build a church, building, a sanctuary, and make it big? Because there's no place to do core message. We want to have large conferences, but there's no place for that. Is that the will of God? No. We need to be free to evangelize and do the will of God and." 
doesn't make any sense that there's no place to do that. I believe that this church that he's building now will be the largest in all of Gangseo region. I'm not trying to say that we should be satisfied with just building a large building. Let's do what God desires. You alone know, Lord. Then, Ezekiel, I'll give you the word. So prophesy. Prophesy, because I will breathe into them new life. That's the core. If there really is a church that will really preach the gospel here in Ulsan, God will breathe life. So elders, don't hold on to anything else. If you hear ridiculous words, don't even listen to them. Those words make Satan happy. If you are just upset about little things, then all the church members will also shake. But if you as leaders rise up, all of your sons will rise up. As God gave his word to Ezekiel, he said, prophesy. Prophesy to them as you breathe in life. What does it mean that all those dry bones became a vast army? It may look like we have completely failed, but God made them into a vast army. Firmly grab hold of this covenant. Grab hold of the covenant today. What should you hold on to? Yehovah께서 나를 부르신 자녀의 권세를 회복해라. Restore your authority as a child of God. So, what should you do? What does it mean? 내게 주신 말씀의 권세를 회복해라. God, oh, I need to restore the authority of the word that God gave me. 기도의 권세를 회복해라. You have the eligibility to do that. Restore the authority of prayer given to you. Now, holding hands together, not that we need to accomplish something great, but let's really save them all, the, the, save all nations. When we go out to the field, we'll see that churches don't have the gospel at all. And not only that, they don't evangelize. And that is why if you simply hold on to the covenant, God's promise that he desires so much, he will work. If you hold on to his covenant, you begin to pray, then the Holy Spirit will work. What else do we say? Let's really pray for the next generation, the remnant. This is the will of God. We must do this. And one day I thought, I don't possess the strength for this. I don't have the background for this. And there's no one that would want to receive education from me. Who would want to learn from me? Now we have so many evangelists and we are receiving so many answers. But long ago, who would want to come and listen to me? So this, is my, this was my resolution. I am going to hold on to the covenant for 24 hours a day and move forward. 24 hours a day, I will pray. And when there is a problem, I'm going to choose the gospel. 그래서 이 복음 선택은 천년의 응답을 이룰 수 있는 하나님의 역사를 이룰 수 있다. And this choice that I make within the gospel will bring about a thousand years of answers. 중지자 여러분, 장로님 여러분들이 해외 같은 해보는 교회를 해보면요, 여러 가지 사람의 말들이 많이 나오잖아요. When you have your different meetings between elders and leaders, we hear so many different words. 이때 누구 한 명, 딱 복음 선택. But if one of you can really stand up and choose the gospel, well, that's why I spoke about it in the first worship. It's actually very easy. I said it before, but my old church faced a problem. But nobody chose the gospel. 
Although we have the gospel, and that's why Satan was having a payday. But it was at that time I chose the gospel. 누가 봐도 할수 없는데 이 세계 복음 할 수도 인도하셨습니다. And no matter who they were, they would all agree that I could not do world evangelization. But I am now being used in this movement. We have this message being broadcasted in over 100 nations. And soon, perhaps it will go to all 237 nations. I came to the city of Yeongdo, a little town, and I believe it was the most, the poorest city of all of Busan. I don't know how God brought me to that little town. There are times when you are faced with a trial like that. I had a friend who um, was a businessman and then he became a pastor and he actually had a successful business. He came to visit me at night one night and he said, what are you doing here? I said, what do you mean? I'm doing ministry here. And he became, became very angry. Oh, pastor, you don't know yourself. I said, what do you mean? Did I do anything wrong? He said, no, let's go to Seoul. Why are you here in this tiny little island of Yeongdo without even your own church building? He said, I built my own church in Seoul. There's a house ready for you. I'll even give you a car. Just come to Seoul. At that moment, I was a little confused. That's what happens to you. But within three minutes, I made my decision. No, I will not go. Okay. 자기가 기도해서 응답을 받고 왔대요. He said, well, I came here after receiving answer from my own prayer. And I said, well, me too. I have my answer too. 목사님, 말씀은 고맙고 저를 위해서 이렇게 기도해 주시고 지금 찾아오신 거 감사하다. 그러나 저는 안 갑니다. Thank you for praying for me, thinking about me, and even coming all the way to see me today, but I cannot go with you. 나는 없고 아무것도 없지만 여기서 전도운동 하기로 교인들하고 약속했습니다. I don't have a church building. I don't have anything. But I made the promise with my church members that we will do the events as a movement here. God brought me here. I will not go and leave because of my own benefit. I believe I made the right choice. And that's why God attached this wonderful elder who loves the gospel to me. It might look like I haven't done anything special, but now the gospel is going out to the entire world through all of you. There are so many servants of God like you all here in all the different nations, the nations filled with darkness. I'm very thankful. That's why moment by moment we must choose the gospel. We started the evangelism movement all over Busan, and then people started to come against or come and gather to me for the training. And for the training, they need to give a training fee. And also, with the selling of different materials, uh, income was coming in. We started to make a profit. That's when I realized this is not right. It's not right for us to make a profit our church to make a profit through this evangelism training. Then I spoke to our church officers. And I knew that they were people of God too. I told the elders that the profit that comes in should not come to the church and it shouldn't come to me. Let's bring it into the headquarters and use it for world missions. Let's not touch it at all. I won't even touch it either. And they all said, okay. And that's how the headquarters moved to Seoul. The people in Busan were quite sad about that. But God was happy. And that's how we started world evangelization. After that, the doors started opening all around the world. You 
You have no idea how God gave so many answers with that one choice based on the gospel. And in conclusion, you must still do it without the answers too. Let's say that you are preaching the gospel to save others and then you die because of that. Even still, you must do it. 오늘 예레미야와 에스겔에 대한 메시지를 하나님이 여러분에게 주신 겁니다. God has given you a message today through Jeremiah and Ezekiel. 정말로 너는 내게 부르짖으라. Call to me. 네가 알지 못하는 크고 비밀한 거 있다. And I will answer you and show you great things you do not know. 그리고 기억하세요. 이 뼈들이 살겠느냐? And then remember this. Can these bones live? 생기를 부르노라. 말씀을 떼어나라. 생기를 부르노라. Prophesy to them. And then breathe into them. 그대로 성취되기를. 주 예수 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus that these words will be completely fulfilled in your lives. 하나님께 돌립니다. Let's pray. God, we give you all glory, thanks, and honor. 울산 통해서 세계 살아나게 하심을 감사드립니다. Thank you that you're allowing the whole world to come alive because of the Ulsan Church. 전 지역으로 복음 증거되임을 감사드립니다. Thank you that the gospel is being preached all over the nation and the world through the Emmanuel Church. 이만 울산에서 시작하여 전 세계로 복음 운동하게 하신 하나님께 영광을 돌립니다. And I give you glory, God, for allowing this evangelism movement to begin in the Emmanuel Pusan Church and now spread the entire world. 지금 시작인데 뼈들이 살아나게 해 주실 줄 믿습니다. We know this is just the beginning, and we believe that you will allow the dry bones to come alive. 모든 중직자와 장로님들 산업에 분대가 일어나는 하나님의 역사 일어나게 하옵소서. May the work of God arise where all the dry bones in the businesses, the fields of our church officers, may come to life. Become a great army. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.